Okay, Ian Stuckey, proprietor of Mastermind Games, here again, and this time, painting the Noxious Blightbringer from the Death Guard faction of Warhammer 40,000, and this is one of the models that came with the Dark Imperium box set. So, starting off with Moldy Skin 09149. Actually, that'll do, given how much of this is going on here. And some of this greenish-gray will definitely be painted over with other colors as I go along. But this is going to be on the bulk of the armor. Covered in bells. A lot of those will get picked out in bronze, gold, silver. May or may not do them all the same color. We'll just see those horns, pipes. Those are going to be done differently too. Thus far, some of the Death Guard and Primaris models from the Dark Imperium set are only available in that set still, with the Primaris Captain, the Primaris Ancient, and the Malignant Plague Caster and Noxious Blightbringer being the big ones. It has a full unit of Poxwalkers in the set, but there's only a what four six man unit available of those right now and there is a new Lord of Contagion sculpt with an alternate weapon out now too not sure if when or even if there's going to be a New Noctis Blightbringer or Malignant Plague Caster outside of that set. Though using the word new in reference to something that's only a year old is a little odd, I suppose. Just gonna get a nice solid coat of this on. I'll give the same kind of gore warning I gave to my Lord of Contagion a while back. This guy does have some exposed viscera. Other mutations, so. But honestly, if you clicked on a video that says Death Guard and Noxious Blightbringer, then you probably have a pretty good idea what you're getting yourself into anyway. Hopefully this doesn't end up on a YouTube Kids auto playlist. That's... Still a little fluky if you've heard about some of the weird crap they put on that particular area that gets through the filters. A lot of YouTubers have been talking about it, for which I'm actually grateful because at Thanksgiving, my nephew was in front of my dad's iPad and stumbled across that section. I caught it before he saw anything too weird. Trying to get underneath that armpit there. Since I overestimated how much paint I would need, just make sure it's all nice, even coat here. I 
see a few tentacles and other mutations peeking out that I didn't catch while it was still black. Black being just the color of the primer. And okay. Gonna need to let that dry for a bit before moving on. All right. Next up, zero nine one four three yellowed bone. And as means of chaos, all chaos space marines, including Death Guard, are prone to mutation. So these spikes are not necessarily part of his armor, but more likely part of his body, punching through his armor. Got a throat coat on that. I'll pick out the nurgling dangling off him later. Yep, it's got a spike so big you can hang a dang bell off it. <laughs> These spikes look like piercings though, so I'll pick those out in a metallic color later on. Not sure what color yet, but I'll figure out when I get there. And then zero nine zero six two leather white. Go ahead and get his tabard. legs. Okay, I think I just covered something up here. <sighs> hmm, maybe not. That's okay. All right. At this point, I haven't decided if I'm putting iconography on this or not. If I do, it will be something bright, like a violet or a red on this just pure white background here. I think I nicked a part I didn't want to nick on that, so I'll just touch that up there. Start working on some of the viscera. So let's see. I'm gonna take uh, rosy highlight. Should do it. That's zero nine zero six nine. Turn on a 
tackle in the back. Yeah, that's not going to turn out so good. Let's try. Ro er, no, not. Let's try Rosie Skin zero nine zero six eight. That's a bit too light. I'm gonna switch up shading on it, but still, it needs to look. A little less uh, like the ivory. Just paint wet on wet there. That'll give it a somewhat different effect. That's not bad. Let me get the hoses and cables in this too. Make it look like they're flesh as opposed to purely mechanical. After all, official art in the Death Guard Codex shows their spaceships covered in a fleshy exterior. Let's see. And then, right along here, peeking out from the tabard, a few more tentacles, or possibly exposed this where there's a cancerous looking lump out by the foot here and then this tentacle or toe peeking out off the side and then let's see oh back half of this full look it's like a lump of cancerous flesh oozing out. After all, this guy is called a noxious blight brainer. Why wouldn't he be 90% cancer? See that? Let's do this as a tentacle holding that bell. A lot of this is subjective on how I, what I personally feel something should be. out that hose to the best of my ability here. Again, this is not a official color scheme straight out of the codex, just we'll say inspired by what's in the codex. So, okay, just making sure I don't have any more lumps here. We'll do this here, I think. And that hose is part of his plasma blaster. I'll leave that for another color. Um, um, it's not too bad. Go ahead and call that good for the time being. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That little bit right here. Is there another finger or some kind of flesh maggot? Don't know, but let's go ahead and do it like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and take, I think, pale green zero nine zero one two and get started on the nurgling. And Nurglings are some of the least of Nurgle's demons. They will often accompany favored champions of Nurgle, whether they want them or not. And on a model like this, there is no in-game effect for having the Nurgling on here. It's just kind of there. 
Not a single Nurgling is not really much of a threat. In numbers, though, yeah. Like chubby little flatulent piranhas. If you recall the uh, Lord of Contagion video a while back, heck, he had Nurgling springing up around his feet wherever he stepped. Not giving every. Trying to avoid giving any Nurgling the exact same color. Probably do some fancy stuff with Shang to pick out some of his postules. Make sure I'm not obscuring any details too much. It's okay. Yeah, we'll go ahead and call it here for now. Let that dry up before moving on. Right. Next up, Tarnish Steel 09206. I guess Plasma Pistol picked out and a few other little details. Off camera, I added a little more of that flesh tone to some of these these sensors since I did that on the uh, War of Contagion earlier. Go ahead and get that cable. Just do the whole pistol and silver for now, and I'll pick out the lighting effects and other details later. Not bad. And then this heavy bell, there's a specific name for it. I just can't think of it right in a second. Got the silver. And that little maggot thumb thing alone. Not still not sure what it's supposed to be exactly. on the, I think it's Toskin, I'd have to double check the spelling and figure out a phonetic pronunciation. The Toskin of Misery, it's biggest bell. Probably pick out the clapper on the inside in different colors, same thing on the one it's carrying in its hand. And right here where it attaches. Then I'm going to pick out all these fly-shaped ornaments all over the body. Because obviously a demonic god of disease and plagues would be big on flies. And these nails piercing the bone here.
a bit much water. Blot that out. Try that again. That's better. Okay, let's see. There's another fly on the backpack here. Now there's at least two more. So I think there's two more. Looking at this, this might be cancer, cancerous flesh too. Uh, there's one of them right on the belt. Could have sworn there was one more on here, but maybe I already got it. I must have got the other fly. I will, however, pick out the, these three skulls here in silver. Okay. And I'll take that uh, rosy skin again, 09068. And Since this part really does look like flesh, now that I'm looking at it again, I'll go ahead and dab over that. See, looks like it goes up over the pauldron here. There's a little maggot here. Go ahead and do this center style portion on the backpack here as well. I missed that earlier. Okay. And then, let's see. Yeah. Go ahead and take 09023 Imperial Purple and Start picking out the body glove he's wearing underneath the armor. What little of it is showing. That's more than I'm going to need. Go ahead and pick out this knee pad in that fleshy color. There's an equal chance him being a chaos worshiper that that's a carved icon, or it's equal as likely it's uh, some kind of mutation or growth. I'm just gonna go for this ribbed area here, and this will make a little difference in here. draw a little visual interest. The Order of Contagion didn't really have a whole lot of this exposed. Then again, he was wearing Terminator armor. It's much more heavily reinforced, and looks like that's just on the back of the legs. A little bit around the hand here. And then this must be part of it too on the wrist. Not a lot. This is pretty heavy armor. And then. See another maggot I missed hanging out right here. Alright. And then I'll go ahead and take that along this ribbed area on the back here. Why not? That's too thick. Just trying to be really careful with him. Let's go ahead and do a little gold next. Oh, where is the gold? There it is. 09050 antique gold. Go 
ahead and do this crown here. Trim on the armor. Careful not to nick that little maggot. Try to make sure the paint is neither too thick nor too thin right this second. And I'll go ahead and do this plate right here. Maybe not. Let's do this part here with the rest of that in the green. Let's see here, what else do I want to do? Go ahead and do the clapper of the Toscan of Misery. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right or not. Clapper of his other bell as well in the gold. I think I will go ahead and pick out these three orbs in the back. And the three skulls in the front. See anything else I want to do? Hmm. I don't think so overall, but I do want to take that flesh and pick out this little what looks like a blister on the gauntlet here. And then I'll go ahead and actually. Redo this one symbol on the knee in the gold. Go ahead and call that carved as opposed to flesh. Same on the backpack here. Look a little different, but that's okay. Alright. Then I think I can finish up the base coats. If I can find the paint I pulled earlier. Where is it? Here it is. 09198 Tarnished Brass. This one's plugged up pretty good. That's better. And I'm going to go ahead before I hit that, uh, pick out a few of the pustules on the nurgling here. This will all come together when I hit the shading. That's okay. Okay, now the brass. I'm gonna pick out the chains and the casings for these centers. Which this is typically a device used to hold sacred incense. So in the case of worshippers of Nurgle, probably something less holy. 
more contagious. And if you hear the wind blowing against my windows here, it's because there's a pretty big snowstorm going on outside. And at the time of uh, filming this segment, just in time for Christmas, actually. I see another tentacle here touching the base of the bell. I'll have to pick out in a second. Or the sensor here. Right. Uh, get my terminology mixed up. Also, I've had to get back in there. Let's go ahead and pick that out right here and now. It's just this little bit of thing right here. Just like that. A lot of very beautifully elaborate details. Oh, yeah. Beautifully elaborate details on a hideous mutant bearing every disease in the known universe. I'm going to pick out the rest of the bells in bronze. I can actually picture a sort of theme for Nurgle in my head, being kind of like a twisted carol of the bells, but I don't have the skill set necessary to turn that from just an idea in my head to an actual reality. I do have a music maker program I've been playing around with that just came with the video editing software I use, but maybe someday I'll get the hang of it and get this tune out of my head for the world to enjoy, or be horrified by, depending on point of view. Okay, 
think that's it. Just one more go over. Let's see. Okay, that's base coats. Let that dry and start shading. All right, time to start shading now. I'm gonna start with zero nine two zero five black and steel. Now this is just gonna go on the metal I want to quote pristine. Well, for lack of a better word, because as you can tell, a lot of the metal here is rusted and pitted. So we'll go ahead and hit that fly ornament here and the one hanging off this pack here. And on his hip here, and then here as well. Let's see these skulls. Okay, and then the plasma pistol. The actual lighting effects will be picked out after shading, but before I highlight. Let's see here. Then the top of the tusk of misery here. And the spikes impaled through this bony growth here. Then 09049 Ancient Bronze. And something I had to do off camera that I forgot to do on camera was get the reinforcement on the bell up here. That was my mistake. This is gonna go on the gold that I want pristine. Gonna be this piping on the backpack here. On this crown. And on the shoulders. This little bit right there. ornament here. So being careful around that little maggot. Okay. Yeah. It's got the pristine gold. No. That's not it. Here it is, old bronze zero nine one nine seven. Can use this to shade the sensors. And that's a phone call. Okay. That was nothing of consequence. Just my mom trying to get a hold of me. I'll call her back a little bit. After I get this clip finished here. Going over the bronze here. Getting these plate sensors picked out. Darkened. Note I'm just getting the metal part right now, the inside that I see as diseased flesh will be done 
different shade in a little bit. I've said this before, but this is something nice about Reaper's Master Series is going by the numbers on of the paints. You take your base coat, you go one lower for your shade and one higher than your base coat for your highlight. Usually works pretty well. Handy little thing to remember if you're going to use a particular brand eye, brand eye favor. Okay. Now for the corroded metal. Oh, where did I set my hair? It is. 09125 scorched metal. This is a nice rust color. And when done as a shade. Gives a great rusted, corroded appearance to the other metallic colors. I just need it a little thinner than usual. So carefully, just start with the bell arbitrarily, at least the hand bell arbitrarily. It's covering bells here. A nice thorough covering. Making sure it pulls up in the actual divots. And let's see, there's that one right there. The one his little pet nurgling is holding on to. Get a little bit more of those two divots. Gonna misery itself. I think the handbell is called a plague bell, but I'm not certain. Just can't remember off the top of my head. It's in the list of the codex. Okay. The bell is one of the focal points of the model, I'm making certain that all the Divots are thoroughly coated. After all, the Death Guard have diseases that can even affect metal and machines, so... I imagine that'd be very terrifying for a Necron to go up against Death Guard and realize, oh wait, for the first time in, its ex in my existence I could get sick. <laughs> okay. 
that's good for now. We'll let that dry. Then do some more shading. Well, actually, on second thought, I can probably do the tabard. So we'll take 09061 linen white for that. Here, let it flow wherever it's going to flow. If the colors are dark enough that it's not going to matter too much. Throw a few divots in the cloth, or not divots, holes. All right. And then put that in this. Use the empty brush to suck the little bit of it out of it. Almost I want to get that one cleared up. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull them back. Alright, that's good. Okay, now we'll go ahead and let that dry. Alright, moving on to the armor. Where is it? Ghoul skin 09148. Should have cleaned off my palette between takes. I'll have to rectify that. Oops, I'm hitting the bell. And the wind has gone from calming down to picking up again. Okay. So I'm back here, I'll do the back side as well. If this gets onto the flesh there, the diseased flesh, that's okay. I'll give it some color. Actually, oh, yeah. So these pipes will get multiple layers of shading, so I'll go ahead and do some of them in the pink, or the green, sorry. Getting a little mixed up, that's uh, that happens. Okay. Getting sure I've got a solid coat where I want it. Also make sure I'm in view of the camera. Down here avoiding that maggot. And around the head here. I get a bit on the back. Got a little where I didn't want on the shoulder there. Fingers and thumb. 
Let's touch up that arm a little bit more. Down the shoulder here. On down the arm, avoiding the plague bell. I think that's the name of the weapon. And the hands. Then the nurgling. Also get a glaze of this. Might be a little too much. End up with multiple layers of this. Well, I guess, to be a little more accurate, multiple layers of shading. So I'm going to give him one more color. Okay, let's see. And then... Missed a couple of pipes in the front and there on the arm. Let's get a little more. Okay. Okay, now let that dry and continue shading. There's going to be multiple layers of shading, especially on the diseased flesh. Okay, last coat's had enough time to dry, so Nightshade Purple 09022. That's enough. It's getting really stormy out. Is it just carefully going to go here? A little diner. Body glove underneath. This little band on the back here. Just for some color variation. And then stained ivory zero nine one four two. I can honestly say I have no idea why I keep whispering all the time. Just, uh, still not used to talking when I do this, I suppose. And it is awkward for me to try to engage an audience that can't uh, talk back or ask questions, clarification, etc. Alright. Okay. I think I can go ahead and start on the sensors. Not that one. 09026 Violet Red. Censures, I think, is the correct pronunciation, but it's a word I almost never use. So, just get, keep nicking stuff. Get that in around. Give this diseased, meaty look here.
then we'll go ahead and carefully put this on. So I'll let it work out some of these tentacles and fleshy bits coming out. Uh, not the maggots, I don't think, but not the pipes, but tendrils. This cancerous looking flesh. coming out of his hip here. And we'll get the try to get the pustules on the nurgling. Gonna do one more layer of shading over this though. Then this bit here. And yeah, just this big tumorous looking mass coming out of his back. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good. Just about there, just a few more layers of shading and I think I can move on to highlights and details. Okay, next. Can take 09023 Imperial Purple. And make some of these mutations look a lot less healthy. Uh, let's see if I need the right brush. So, so I'm going to go ahead and thin that out a little more, I think. To blare that over the nurgling. Make it look really filthy and diseased. That's looking better. Uh, take this and run it along some of the pipes. Into the maggots. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then this there. There's another one here I missed earlier. It's okay. That blister there. Now this is looking sickly, and the multiple layers of shading are really helping to give it, well, to give the different areas their own distinction. In fact, this should be about the last of the shading I need to do.
big mass of desiccated flesh coming out of the foot here. Okay, that's looking real good. So next, go ahead and start on the lighting effects with pure white 09039. And really this is going mostly on the plasma pistol. Make sure it's thin enough. Going along the conduit on the backing here. And these vents. Glow on the barrel. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I'll do a glowing effect on the inside of his visor there. Don't know what color I'll use, mind you, but I'll have that figured out by the time I get to it. Okay, is that all I want to do? No. What we're going to do... This. That icon there. Yep, I'm going to light that up. And then on these... I go ahead and get the hollows and do a lighting effect in that. Which something I did on the Aura Contagion a while back too. Very carefully push this one back a little bit. Yeah, it'll have to do it. Awkward. It's not meant to bend. Get a little more paint. And by the time this dries, I'll have figured out exactly what my shading effects are going to be, or lighting effects. Uh, make sure there's plenty of paint in here. Okay. Oh, and I think I'll give the Nurgling be a glowing eye. His teeth started white. Okay. Let that dry. Move on a little bit. Okay, Sparkling Blue 09104. It's going to go in the sensors. 
And we're going to get this extra thin. Just want the fairest bit of blue in there. this on the uh, symbols of miracle as well. Let's see these as spewing plague as well. Not too bad. Where I put it? Okay. Then zero nine one oh one ruby red. That's enough. That's just gonna go in the slots in his visor and the Nurkling's eyes, and actually I'm gonna have his mouth glowing too. Yeah, that looks like a demonic little. Well, probably shouldn't say that word. I don't want kids watching this. <laughs> and then coppery orange zero nine one zero two. This is going to go on the plasma blaster or plasma pistol. Sorry. Uh, Fence. Deeper on the front and then over the top here. Let's do a little more. That doesn't seem quite. There we go. That's better. All right. Seems I need just a little more of the red at center slung the visor. Hmm. Okay, that's better. Now once that's dried, time to start shading, or not shading, highlighting. <laughs> okay, time to start highlighting. This segment's been delayed because of the holidays and me getting horribly sick. So, Rosie Highlight, 09069. <coughs> so, yeah. I'm still getting over a bug that flattened me for like three or four days, so... <coughs> Just bear in mind, if there's any coughing, it's not as bad as it sounds. Not spending a whole lot of time on the sensors here. Just, just enough to look like I actually highlighted a little. <clears throat> Down the cancerous looking flesh here. The 
tentacle coming out of his hip. One in his gut, one in his back, that hose between his legs. So all these maggots and pipes and infected flesh. <coughs> Excuse me. Like I said, getting over a bug. And this is a vast improvement over how I was the other day. Oh, of course, the biggest pieces on this right foot, kind of slawing out the back. But you can see by mixing and matching your shades and highlights and <clears throat> base coats, you can get some really interesting effects. And go ahead and do this on the Nurgling. Though he's probably going to get multiple layers of shading. Or, sorry, highlighting. It's been a <coughs> weird week for me. Well, weird couple of weeks. Again, busy holiday, getting sick. <laughs> Nothing too big. Okay. Dry that out and then <clears throat> 09024 amethyst purple. There's not much of this, just the body glove really. But I will need a smaller brush. Right there where the thumb meets the palm, and right there too. Back here. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and this is a second layer of highlighting on the hoses. Make them stand out a little more than from the infected flesh. Okay, it's not bad. <clears throat> Like I said, I've been sick. <laughs> this would have been done a week ago if not for all the holiday nuttiness and this bug. Uh, bloodless skin, 09150. <clears throat> okay, that's plugged up. Backpack. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, like I said, 
I have been very sick. You know, it's bad when I don't even have the strength to pick up a paintbrush. Got the armor pretty good. <clears throat> that out nice and thoroughly, and <coughs> I think the gold next. Where is it? Zero nine zero five one new gold. Like I said, I've been sick. <laughs> Probably not for the last time in this segment either. But, somewhat appropriate considering I'm painting a Nurgle model. And since some of the green got on the gold here, I'll use a little more straight paint than I normally would to take care of that. Symbol there, the kneecap. Skulls on the bell, the orbs on the back. <clears throat> okay. And silver's next, I think. So, where is it? True silver 09207. Pretty good on the plasma pistol. <laughs> Make sure I pick out the flies. Skulls on the shoulder. And again, this is a case where the seeming fragility of the model is making me a little nervous. Just be gentle. A little more gold I missed. Just do that and quickly get the top right there. Okay, bronze, I think, next. <coughs> Make sure the brush is nice and dry because we're going to use this next. And 09198 tarnished brass.
and that these centers look like wheeling little phases now is a good thing. We want it to look disturbing. And I really shouldn't be referring to myself as a we. <laughs> And the smaller bells, including the one the jolly little Nurgle is holding. And a banding around the Tuscan of Misery. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not. Again, making sure the brush is nice and dry. I think. Oh, uh, yeah, why not? 09063 Ghost White. And this is just going on the tabard here. Now, I don't personally feel like putting any more iconography on the tabard, but if you do, it's an excellent place for some. <clears throat> and that's pretty good. And 09144 Creamy Ivory. Getting all the horns, making sure not to miss any. Trying not to nick the nurgling here. Okay, more on this one, I think. Okay, that's about it for highlights and details. Um, let's go ahead and do 09012 pale green on the Nurgle and make them stand out just a little more. That's looking a little better. So you can see how using multiple shades and highlights can really change up what you end up with. So that's pretty much it on, <coughs> excuse me, that's pretty much it for highlights.
now if I can find it. Did I lose it? Here it is. 09037 Pure Black. And actually, I'm going to take one more highlight with 09039 Pure White first. Just a little dot. I'm going to try to pick out some more of the coils on the plasma pistol. And lighten that up a little. That's looking better. Okay. And now taking pure black and just lining the base. And again, this can be any color. In fact, most of my other models, I use some fi faction specific color, but I just decided to just do black on uh, Warhammer, so. And then once that's completely dry, base it. All right, time to finish this up. <clears throat> Excuse me. So again, white glue. generous portion of water that blended thoroughly and carefully paint around the feet <laughs> That sounded like a car with a bad carburetor. And then dipping it in the rock debris. Brushing off around the edge. And let's see, I don't see any place I need to brush away from the feet right now, so let that set and then we'll seal it. Okay, last step, scenic cement, I'm going to seal the base, eyedropper, and this is a little trickier, the closer to empty it gets. I'm just going to carefully... Rip that around the base. Again, too much and it'll move your material around, whatever that happens to be. You want it to look wet, not overly saturated, and whatever you use for basing will do a really good job of just sucking it in. That's pretty good. Just squeeze the excess back in, clean out the eyedropper by running the water through it a few times. I want the brush in there from the last time, and that is that. <clears throat> A Death Guard Noxious Blightbringer from the Dark Imperium box set. Up next, continuing on the Dark Imperium with a Space Marines model. I am Ian Stuckey with Mastermind Games, signing out.